each August in Omagari, you can see one of Japan's greatest fireworks competitions. The Omagari Fireworks Festival has a century-long history and is considered one of Japan's most prestigious fireworks events. Hi, I'm Michelle. Today I'm visiting a fireworks factory in Omagari, Akita Prefecture to see how aerial fireworks are made. Aerial fireworks are made by packing explosive powder into a round shell casing made of paper. But this kind of shell casing is far from perfect. After a firework is launched, its burnt remains become garbage. Garbage that can create sludge in lakes and have other negative environmental impacts. Our Takumi today is endeavoring to solve this problem. Tokuo Kon is the president of a plastics manufacturing company. This is the shell casing Kon has developed, and it's made of plastic. But isn't plastic even worse for the environment? No. You'll soon see why, if we put it in water. So in the water it goes. After three hours, we look at what has happened. It's become quite soft. This plastic dissolves in water. And microorganisms then help it to break down completely into water and carbon dioxide. The Takumi's shell casing uses this new plastic so it doesn't cause a waste problem. But developing his new casing was not without problems. This is footage of his first test launch. The firework bursts into a distorted shape. This is the usual shape. A perfect circle. The difference is clear to see. The issue lay in the tough plastic material. Paper shell casing breaks into pieces when the powder inside explodes. But the hard plastic casing wouldn't break up, only the seams would come apart. And because the explosive powder could only shoot out from between the seams, the fireworks were all misshapen. To overcome this problem, adjustments to the strength of the plastic needed to be made to allow the casing to break up on explosion. How did the Takumi find a solution? He told us his secret. This is the material in the Takumi's shell casing. He mixes grain husks in with two different kinds of biodegradable plastic. The husks are a key ingredient. This is a micrograph of a shell casing containing the husk and plastic mixture. Compared with regular plastic, you can see how the husks are spread right through the material. Where husks are found, the casing is weaker, causing it to crack and then break up. The exploded fragments of the Takumi's casing are 5 to 10 millimeters in size, smaller than paper casing fragments. For that reason, the husk-filled plastic shell casing not only produces circular fireworks, but also diffuses the explosive powder further than paper shells. The quality of Khan's finished product was then recognized. It was featured in a special opening display at the 2006 Omagari Fireworks Festival. And the Takumi's development efforts had not stopped there. He wants to lower the cost of his casing below paper casing equivalents to further spread its use. I don't waste time trying to do what other people can easily do. That's not how I work. 
If you can't create something new and original and then commercialize it, you're probably not going to survive.